Hey Tubes, today in the shop we got the old family wagon. The left sliding door is not operating as it should. It opens and closes uh, roughly. It's jerky and we're going to change the center roller. Hopefully you can hear me. We got the uh, heat maker on today. It's winter time in Canada and it is cold. Let's open the door. Opens really nice. When you go to close it, it's jerky and a lot of times it'll actually reverse and reopen again because it thinks something's obstructing the door. First thing we're going to do is shut the doors off. Main switch off. Next, we're going to remove the screw that's uh, already missing. You may have a screw here, a Phillips, you want to remove that. Ours is broken and missing, so I guess we'll just skip that step. Could move the sliding door to like the mid open position. We got the hatch open. Two T40s. With the Phillips screw there out, the T40 is out from back behind the tail light. I'm gonna take this whole panel right here, and just slide it backwards. Going to open the door up just a little bit so it's in the midpoint. We're gonna place a floor jack underneath the door to support it so when we have the hinge out, it doesn't fall on the ground. Now we're looking at the uh, center hinge support for the door. You can see there's a little C-clip up there that holds the, uh, the hinge pin in. We're going to pull that little C-clip out. Now with that C-clip out, I'm going to drive the pin downwards to separate the two using the trusty hammer. See? Drove it out a little bit. Going to grab the bottom part of it with the vice grips and pull it out the remainder of the way. Now with that pin out, you should be able to pull the door away from this hinge of support. If you follow service information on how to do this, they want you to disassemble the interior of the vehicle and relieve the tension from this cable. I'm far too lazy to do that. I'm going to do it the cheater way. And I'm going to change this roller and by with keeping the tension on this cable. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to take the new roller I have here. And you see this part here is where the cable connects to the roller. I'm going to take my side cutters. I'm just going to grab it. And I'm just going to bend that down. That's going to allow me to get the cable back in there. Once the cable's back in there, I'm going to grab it and just bend it back into place. This is our culprit here. These rollers get sticky and cause the door to bind. Just as I did in the new roller, I'm going to grab the roller and give it a bend down. This allows the cable to come straight out. Have your new roller in your hand before you do this.
Garbage. My new roller. Gonna put the cable in it. Sometimes it helps to grab the cable with the vice grip. Makes it easier to get back in position. I guess you really can't see that. <laughs> Camera position's bad. But the roller, the cable is back in the roller, and now I'm just gonna bend that tab back. I bent that tab back into place, so now it's grabbing the cable once again. Slide it back in the track. Make sure your cable's in the guide. Slide up forward to meet your door. Give your door a push back in. Got your hinge pin. A little C clip. I like to use a punch, put that C clip back in. Success. I take my floor jack out now. Why not? Let's give it a trial run. Working a lot better. Let's get this panel back on. We gotta take all the clips out. We gotta hold the side panel in. Turn them 45 degrees and they pull straight out. Got missing. Grab your piece of trim, put it on your nice uh, scratchy surface, slide your clips back in. Don't forget your torques back here. Don't forget your Phillips in here. I don't have one. I did buy this thing wrecked from the body shop. Power back on. Power on. Much smoother. Thanks for watching, Tubes.